So yes, <laughs> how does a rocket work? I'm sure you've seen many, like from the 1969 rocket launch to the moon, or when they sent a monkey into space and sadly died. You might have drawn something like this when you were little, or maybe a bit worse, but something close to this, a rocket, which had two fins, and, well, at least when I drawed it, had two, let's just say, triangles instead of the fins and a big oval. Well, how do they actually work? Besides from the fact that they fly very, very fast, how do they actually work? So, there are three important things. The engine, the fuel, and, um, and the, what's it called? <clears throat> the countdown timer. So without the countdown timer, if you didn't launch the rocket on the countdown timer, the rocket's going to end up really miserably bad. Because at the time the rocket launches, what, if you've seen, a rocket is usually connected to some type of, like, like has two arms and is connected. And if you don't launch the rocket right at when they say go, then your rocket is just going to be like a rocket launcher. At the end, basically, it's just going to explode. So the countdown timer is very important. So next, we have the rockets itself. Now, the thing about the rockets is that as you can see, there are three big black rockets, and there's one small one. Which you think is more powerful? These three black ones, or this tiny little one? Well, the thing that's more powerful is this one. Seriously? Yes, that is the most powerful. This is because a bunch of rocket fuel is stored, as you can see, something like this. And why do you do so much? Well, it's kind of like this. You need to force yourself out of gravity. For example, gravity is actually pulling you down. But, well, yes, that's how it works. And there's a, it's basically connected, like you, as you can see here. And when it goes really, really fast and has entered orbit, it will flies away. Well, more likely, it just stops being the rocket will just push it out of the way but yes when the engine it started it produces thrust like the booster and this is all the propellant let's just say this is the propellant and this is the it's kind of like this this is like the imagine something like this this is extremely reactive fuel and this is less reactive it's kind of like this has more power than this. And after a propellant is used, the delay is activated. So basically, after the delay is activated, to cool down the engine, it just gives off smoke. And what smoke does is basically just cools down the enclosure or the rocket. And after the delay is used, the ejection charge is activated, which basically deploys the recovery system. Or basically, it just basically just throws the fuel or rocket fuel system off of the whole space shuttle, and then it just sends it off to orbit. As you can see, <coughs> so mainly a rocket is kind of like let's just say a plane, except it's a plane with way more power. That's right, it has way more power and also flies about four times as fast, maybe even 10 times as fast. It flies at 5,000 to 10,000 miles per hour, which is a lot. And so, yeah, that's basically the main difference between something like this and that. And mainly, we you we why we use rockets versus planes to get out of orbit well mainly because rockets have way more power and planes are restricted by gravity but well rockets have boosters think of it like this it's basically a vertical plane with a rocket booster attached kind of like a jetpack so yeah that's it